Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to create Tornado using Soap Solver with the help of velocities and noises. And there are lots of tips and tricks I'm going to talk about. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a line. To define shape of our Tornado, we will use Polywire. And here we need Tipper at the bottom. So for that, we will use the sample. And it has one attribute called curve view which is from 0 to 1 so let's use that here to use that here we need to add add and here I want to increase let's lock our view and I want to increase division size cool so here I need particles first let's use point from volume and everything looks uniform so here I need some jitter scale yeah that's all and here we need a motion for motion we will use transform we will use dollar f so you can see it's rotating and you can increase this here also and after that you can add mountain also on this and if you add animated noise it will look more cool now so this is how you can create tornado and you can increase speed also so hope you like and see you next time I hope you're still there okay so we don't need all of this I was it was that easy but let's understand this we need velocity in this motion so how we can achieve that and for that we will use concept called cross product and let's just check how we can use that so we will use warp let's just check our normals so what I will do over here I have this vector and I will use up vector and what cross product will do cross product will, will create this axis so for every point it will do that let's just check over here so here i will use cross product and you can see here by default it has up to vector so all i have to do is connect this in the first input and let's just check yeah that's all we want and it's working fine and i want this in velocity so let's just check our velocity here and I will transfer that velocity here attribute transfer from here to there so let's just transfer velocity that's all we want now distance zero how we can use velocity to drive that simulation here I will use point triangle to do that just for quick demo so I have position I wish to add that velocity on each frame I'll multiply it so let's just check and it's too much I guess let's just reduce it by 10 right, so you can see it's working but this is not the right way all we need is a brain bring in the sense that we need to remember previous value to add current value and how we can do that for that we will use soft solver and let me just explain what is soft solver quickly right so I have this character and Joey wants to save five dollar each day so how we can do that calculation and on fifth day we have to remember so what was total saving on fourth day right so that's how we can add five dollar on fifth day so to do that calculation here let me just create a dollar and at the moment he has zero dollar so how we can use soft solver to do that so let's just use soft solver and let's go inside and it has previous frame right so here I have to just connect this over here add dollars I have that attribute dollars plus I want to save five dollars each day and make sure you use out node so it always stay on the that frame. now just let's flip this screen and we need geometry fetch to check that yes so here okay we need dollars it's okay so now you can see here that it's it was zero on. now it's adding that value so if I go to next frame it will add right so it remembers what was the calculation on 11th frame it will add five dollar on 12th frame so that's how we can use and it's very useful in most cases and just let me just show you how we can use this in our example let's rename this 
let's use soft server to do that. And here I will use point pop, so it's easy to understand. Cool. So let's add that velocity. Right. So you can see it's too much right now. Let's reduce it. Point one. Yeah, this much is fine. So let's just check. Cool, it's working. So it's giving the similar output which we were getting. Let's just pin this. Why it's happening this way? And let's just understand that. For that, we have to check our velocity and what exactly happening to our velocity. Why it's going outside? Till here, it's fine. When it's adding each frame, you can see it's so nothing wrong. It's just following velocity. So we have to correct our velocity. And so how we can do that? So here, when it's changing its velocity, we have to reset its velocity. So for that, again, we will use attribute transfer to do that. Input to and let's just set V. Let's check now. It's working, right? Again, it's expanding. So for that, we have to tweak our velocity and just check how we can tweak our velocity. And I think it's easy way to visualize these trails. Where is it? Here. So you can see here, it's still pointed outward a little bit. So how we can invert it slightly. And for that, again, we will create one vector to blend it. So all we need is outward vector. And let's just check how we can do that. So all I need is here. Right, so currently it's correct, but if you can check here that it's pointing downward also. I have to remove that y-axis and to remove that y-axis, I will just multiply. I want x not zero here you can see it how it's changed now and let's just transfer that here now we have to blend this to value how we can do that so i will use mix i want this so you can see here that if i blend this Right, so it's still pointing outward so i have to invert this and for that i will use multiply and minus and let me just clean this a bit so it's easy to understand cool so let's check now you can see it's pointing inside and that's all we want so let's use point 0.9 Right, so it's not expanding. Yeah, it's changing that position, but it's not expanding. And here, I don't want that much. Now we have that tornado motion. And how we can make this interesting? So if you notice here that every point is moving on same speed. So let's add random speed on each number let's just check how we can do that and before that i will use turbulent noise let's just check first over here that what exactly let's use feet and we will multiply this here let's just check what we are getting over here Now you can pin and so you can see here now that everything is static so here i want some motion in those point it, it shouldn't be completely static so you can see here that some points are moving slow and some points are moving faster let's just increase here still like motion is and i wish to use offset this also you know that it's if it's like every point should get chance so if it's moving noise then we will get everything over and i think we can stay inside as it's pinned on the outside
and in fact we can make this more interesting by adding a noise and now we have to keep our network clear that as we are going to use more you can see here that i am using position multiple times so for that i will just create null to keep this clean right and it is always like tough to keep our WAP network clear but let's just try it over here and here so here we can add noise and there are always various noise if you have noticed over here that when i am offsetting it so it's you can say it's something is going upward and that's fine for this motion it won't be good for our noise and for that i need some random motion in the noise and best way to use 4d noise so for 4d noise we use anti-alias noise and it has the 4d input and what is 4d input so it's vector to vector float so we need position over here and in here i need some motion so let me just promote it cool right so let's just add that and i want some motion so i'll use dollar t so let's just check oops it's too much and let's use 3d noise reduce it We are getting some cool effect but we are losing that our main effect so let's just reduce even more right and let's just increase frequency so it's too big at the moment right and in fact we can we should increase our speed also by 0.1 and let's just check output Right, so now like you can see here that we are getting interesting shapes and everything here. So here we have not used any pop network or something. It's everything created using our vector and some simple mathematics. And yeah, if you spend more time on this and you can take this to next level and also you can use same concept in DOP also where you will get live pop forces and to enhance this even more further and i also like it's not limited to tornado only and here i have just created some other thing also like you can create some interesting effect like this also it's using the same concept hope you like it and see you next time